this video, I'm going to be going over cracking PDF passwords. So I have downloaded here an example. This is a web hacking 101 PDF file. So when I open it, there's a password. Um, okay. Uh, password that didn't work. Okay. Test password is correct. And it just closes out. So there is a password on this PDF. Now, what do we do from there? So to start off the basics of it, I want to go into Kali Linux. Now I will put the link in the description and also the process download the Kali Linux subsystem on the windows device. So it actually opens up Kali like this. It's, this is a Linux system where it, opens up and it is actually in the windows system because most people have windows by default so getting subsystem is relatively straightforward and once you have it you'll have it like this well what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold the shift key and right click to actually open up a linux shell in the destination i also can manually traverse there with command line though this method if you have a graphical user interface makes it pretty straightforward so once I have Kali subsystem, I'm going to just install a program called John the Ripper. It's a, a popular program for password cracking of all sorts. So I just get clone. So I already have that. And then once I have installed that process, that takes a couple seconds to a minute, a half a dozen seconds, about 30 ish and paste that in. I always have some issues when it comes to moving this stuff. Okay, that changed directory into the John the Ripper source. Let's do ls. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff in there. Then we do a sudo apt, apt update, and then my demo password, and it's updating. Okay, it's all updated, done. We're gonna install libssl. Let's do that. Okay, done. And then we're going to move into John the Ripper source again. That's already done. We're going to configure and make it. So what, what's happening is we're actually creating John thing from scratch here. Make, and it goes through all the process right here. And it will take some more time, a minute tops. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get into the forward slash run directory, the run directory. Let's see. We'll hold all of these. This is the graphical look of it. The run directory essentially has all these scripts, Python scripts, all these types of programs that essentially make up John. And these are extras. So the one that we're going to be using is a PDF to John right there, PDF to John. These are just different ways to take a file format and turn it into a hash format so that John the Ripper can use it to be able to crack it. Fancy. <clears throat> okay. So once that's created, I'm going to just open a Linux thing in here. The command format is dot forward slash pdf to john oh. uh, cd to the run directory okay dot forward slash pdf to john pl i believe that's a python script and then this will go into the pdf file which is i want to close out this one exit where is this PDF file? It is in the run. It goes back one into the PDF hacking. So it will go into P PDF dot dot. So that would take us back to John the Ripper. And then we go dot dot again. That takes us to PDF hacking. And then we go to the script download PDF. And then we need to tell it to output to a file for the script. Scribd, scribd, one hash file, hash file. Okay, done. 
hash files created. Now I'm going to go back to and we look at the hash file. Where is it? Oh, it made it in that exact spot. Duh. Okay. So cd forward slash John. Jesus. John run. And we're going to move the hash file to. And there we go. There we go. Hash file is right there. Okay. This next step is pretty straightforward. Once we have the hash file, we just type in John hash file and loaded password hash. Oh, wow. It already cracked it. And to show a cracked file, this is an important step. The, mo the one that's fun. Dash dash show. And we do hash underscore file. And here we go. We have scribd the downloads.com web hacking 101 video.pdf password is buttercup. So we have the password. We now go in test, opening it up btcup. And great, there we go. That's how you do a PDF password crack of a file with the password that was not very ideally chosen. So because we were able to crack that, we can use different ways to do it. Uh, so I'm going to link in the description a the file that is this Web Hacking 101 book, that PDF file, but I'm going to use a different password. And it's your challenge to be able to crack it. I'll put all these instructions in the video. It's going to be a different password. Uh, best of luck. And if you're not a fan of a brute force attack, you can also use a word list file. You can do some Google searching on that too. And with that, that's all for this video. I'll see you later.